Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. In today's video, I am sharing the best jeans for spring 2024. This is a highly requested video and I did share two jean hauls last year as well, right around this time in spring. Now I'm a curvy build, so I consider some of these jeans to be the absolute best for curves. But if you're not built similar to me i feel like there's a lot of good options i will talk through all sizing all fits the different washes available but the jeans i'm going to talk through today some of them have been my absolute favorites over the last several years some of them are brand new all of the jeans that i shared today are available um, to purchase so of course everything that i share will be linked down below in the description box if you're on mobile tell, tell this video everything will populate for you there and i will also be sure to list out each jean my size and then link and i'll pin it down in the comments section below the brands that i will feature in today's jean spring haul will be abercrombie a goldie free people levi's Madewell Spanx and I'm super excited to share this haul with you guys. I think I have some really good jean options for you Let's get right into it. Okay. Now this first pair of jeans is part of Abercrombie's Curve Love collection If you haven't shopped Curve Love, what's amazing about their Curve Love collection is that it comes snug to the waist But there's an extra about inch and a half two inches across the widest part of your body Which would be your butt and thigh area. So if you're curvier build this collection is for you It's amazing. If you're not I do have a lot of girlfriends that are much slimmer built um, more slender, not as curvy, and they love this collection as well. But essentially, Curve Love comes in at the waist and then gives you a little extra room in your butt, hips, and thigh area. I'm going to mention Madewell in this haul as well, and they have a similar line, their curvy line, Free People. I ordered a Free People curvy line style denim as well and basically i think just industry wise when you're looking and you're shopping um anything kind of curvy typically means if it doesn't mean plus size it typically means a little extra room in the butt and hip area and then it's coming in a little bit tighter to the waist so i always look for that for sure this first jean here is abercrombie and fitch curve love collection this is the loose the high rise and i did size to a 29.8 long length. I am 5'5 five five for reference and typically with Abercrombie's Curve Love jeans, I'm almost like 95% always a 28'6". Now the length really depends. I feel like it depends on what kind of shoe you're going to most often wear. Um, again, I'm 5'5 five five and sometimes I get the long length, which feels weird, but <laughs> I feel like it is what it is. Um, but for this one, I got the long because I do like them. I do like how they look cuffed, so I can wear with like little ankle sandals or heels, little ankle strap heels, things like that. And they also look really good with like sneakers, so like my Air Force Ones, um, any of my sneakers that are a little bit have a little bit of a platform. I think they look really cute in. So I like that in this style, I can wear them cuffed or leave them uncuffed, and I can kind of wear a variety of shoes. Now, typically, I told you I'm usually a 28.6, and in these, I size to a 29. This is the loose high rise, and across the board, it seems like everyone is sizing up. Um, I follow a ton of other creators on TikTok and Instagram, all that, and I'm seeing consistently that the loose even in the Curve Love collection, because pretty much any style that's in Curve Love also comes in a regular collection is just their regular line too so if you don't need something coming tighter to the waist and you don't need that more like you don't need extra room in your butt and hip area then the regular collection might be for you but anyways across the board it seems like in the loose style everyone is sizing up one so just keep that in mind i love that this one has this slash over here on the side i think that's really cute and unlike a detail that i have in my denim collection so i was immediately drawn to that and i really like this medium wash denim I feel like typically in the past, I've always, my favorite color is definitely a light wash like I have on. Um, but lately, I feel like mediums and even darker denim is kind of gravitate, like grabbing my eye. I think I'm just gravitated towards it for something, maybe for something different. Um, but the amazing thing with any Abercrombie style that I shared today, the washes, there's at least like 8 to, I don't even know, 12 washes which each style that I'm sharing. So there'll definitely be one that speaks to you. Again, this is the loose, I would say size up. I'm in a 29.8 long length, I'm 5'5". Five five. I do wanna mention with Abercrombie jeans, you're typically looking at the price point of maybe like $98 to $125. You can definitely catch the jeans like go on sale. A lot of times they're 15 to 20% off just kind of depending. So um, I feel like it's it's worth waiting a little bit. If you do follow me over in the LTK app, which is a free app to download, I share every like outfit in my hauls here on YouTube and anything I share across social media, I always 
um, link those outfits in that app. It's just an easy way to shop. You can always just check my page and just, it's very easy to shop. But um, if you do follow me over there, it alerts you when something goes on sale. So if you see this outfit that I have on and you heart that image within the app, it will let you know when it goes on sale, which is amazing. And then of course I do try to recap over on Instagram stories or here as well and like random videos or vlogs that like something's on sale. But I typically always look in the price point to purchase around $75. I feel like that gives you about 10, 15% off. And to me, I always find that it's worth it to kind of snag them a little bit earlier than waiting for a bigger sale because sizing can kind of go in and out of stock. So it just kind of depends on how much, like how soon you would want them or not. Um, but anyways, I feel like this is a great price point for the style of jeans that you get. The quality, definitely a great price point to be right around $100. A lot of these kind of remind me of some designer options that can be like two to $300 range. So I definitely feel like Abercrombie quality and styles are definitely a 10 out of 10. This pair here is the 90 straight ultra high rise. Again, the curve love collection. So I'm in a 28 six long again, I'm five, five for reference, but I really, really love this style. I think it's very flattering kind of sits right up above the belly button. The snap is right above the belly button. And I feel like this is just very, very fig figure flattering. I always feel really good in these jeans. They come in at the waist and they just sit nice across my like lower stomach, my butt and hip area. And I feel like the slight straight leg, I just feel like that's always very flattering too with any kind of shoe, whether it's sneakers or little heels or even sandals, you can cuff these for sure. I just feel like it's a really good shape. If you're kind of like past skinny jeans, and you're not sure where to start. These are definitely a great option. Again, these are the 90 straight ultra high rise. Okay. Now the next style here are the Levi's rib cage straight jeans. I really, really love these. The sizing has changed over the last couple years in this really pretty light wash color. I got a size 29, but now I definitely get a 30. Um, I feel like they've just made them a little bit smaller. They're not curve friendly in the sense that I had to size up in both of these and then I had to take them to the seamstress to get the waist taken in. Any local seamstress alteration shop can definitely do this. You simply put them on and they really just pin it in the back and just stitch it. Um, the trouble with it is if you have rigid jeans like these ones are, you obviously have to make sure you can pull it up over your hips and thighs um, and you just kind of want to check that when you're like at the seamstress shop, which they would obviously check that as well. But essentially, once it's pinned, you need to be able to like pull them off and on. Um, and anyways, I've never had any issues with that. I think the alterations, that typically costs around 15 to $20, but I always think it's worth it. I mean, obviously with jeans and any of your clothes, like I just want them to fit the best. And to me, sometimes sizing up and getting the waist taken in is the style that I want. It's just always worth it. So I definitely recommend doing that. Again, these are 29, but over the last couple years, they have kind of adjusted the fit a little bit, and these are a 30. But I absolutely love these. I feel like there's nothing more classic than Levi jeans. I love the little tag. I love the detail on the butt. Um, these are hands down one of my favorite pairs of jeans. I love these to style with sneakers, little boots, um, booties, sandals, heels. I feel like they're the perfect length. I believe these are 32 inch inseams and on my 5.5 five frame I just love how this looks. I feel like if I just want to throw jeans on and a top like really any shoe choice could be an option for me. I don't have to think like what shoe do I want to wear to go with this outfit because I feel like this is just a really good length for all my shoe choices. Okay, now a brand that I haven't tried in the past in any of my jean hauls or have shared on my channel with their denim styles is from Spanx. I'm a huge Spanx fan. I love their shapewear. Um, I love some of their dress pants. So I'm a big fan of them, but I haven't really tried any of their jeans. I've seen a lot of girls review them and love them. So I thought I would go ahead and order a couple and try them out in today's haul. So this style right here, this is the wide leg. Obviously it's in this beautiful dark wash. Again, I'm not someone that has a lot of dark jeans. I prefer a lighter wash or even some medium blues, but there was just something about this that kind of stood out. And I immediately thought for the girls that go into the office or just somebody that likes to dress up a little bit more often, maybe you can wear jeans to church. Um, I feel like these just look really, really nice. There's just something really nice about these that I feel like they look very tailored, look very expensive. I'm wearing a size medium in these and the other jeans that I'll share here in a second from Spanx. I also ordered a medium. I very much have to work to get into them for sure. They're not going to be a jean that you just kind of 
throw on and throw a sweater on and you're out the door like I really had to wiggle and like work to get them up over my thighs and then of course they come in really tight to the waist which I absolutely love again I'm wearing a size medium and obviously with anything with Spanx they just have like amazing um, shaping technology to the design and the fabric so I just feel really supported in my lower stomach area I feel like this jean looks really good on the booty um, I definitely love this now this is faux there's not actually any pockets or a zipper and then the button while this is like a real button it doesn't do anything um, so keep that in mind it really lays nice and flat to the body price point you're looking at a little bit more of expense here I think most of the Spanx jeans go from about 150 to 200 I do feel like as I've gotten older though these kind of investments are totally worth it if you know the style of jean that you like or just like certain things that you like I always think it's kind of worth it if something like this provides like such great shaping to you and it's your go-to jean to wear on the office on Fridays or whatever it is I do feel like that's a good price point still I think you're definitely getting a lot of shaping technology in this a really universally flattering fit and I do feel like it's a really great quality but yeah I thought these were just really pretty definitely a wide leg I see myself styling these with heels with maybe some wedges like platform sandals if I was gonna style this with sneakers I would definitely keep the top a little bit more fitted just to kind of balance out the proportions since these are a wider leg but I really really feel like these are such a classic pair of jeans ones that I would definitely style over and over again especially if I was going into an office and you could kind of wear this with like a blazer on Friday or something like that they're just like a really elevated pair to have in your wardrobe okay the next jean here is something definitely fun and it's definitely a style that's really trendy at the moment these are free people's we the free venus curvy barrel jean so you can see here i keep seeing it as like a barrel or horseshoe is the name but you can definitely see here how this fans out and comes back in so it kind of gives you like a little bit more of an illusion like smaller in the waist comes out and then comes down i think it's fun obviously it's not for everyone and i feel like if you're someone that's like into like trends and you wear a lot of jeans and like i think this would be a great splurge but if you're someone that's like i don't know um i think a couple other styles would be better for you i think if you're someone that loves jeans then you can like make this work but if you're not sure um i do feel like it's a little it's pretty trendy now the way that i see myself styling this is definitely with a more feminine top crop top or fitted top being a curvier build i wouldn't want something baggy up top because there's more volume happening through the thigh and leg area and i just feel like just being curvier all around I like to make sure that you can kind of see my shape so to me definitely a more fitted top or like a crop top like just to see the shape is how I would style it now I think with like cute little heeled sandals or little heels I think that's really cute that kind of gives you that like kind of baggy jean tailored look with like something fitted and then like a heel I also feel like you wear this with sandals of course I would keep my shoe I would keep the shoe option to be more slender again just because you have a lot of volume happening in the thighs and leg area and then of course top wise I would keep it more simple crop or a fitted tank top fitted shirt fitted long sleeve just have something more fitted because you have a lot of volume on the bottom half here but I definitely think these are cute I love this light blue medium blue color um, I think this shape is definitely fun definitely a very trendy jean at the moment now I typically like jeans that are more rigid more structure I just feel like that looks better on my curvier frame it's just a personal preference for sure and I wanted to share these ones because they are very soft denim and I know a lot of people love their softer jeans and so I want to include one for sure this is a brand that I always look to uh, um, purchase from during the Nordstrom anniversary sale because they are carried by Nordstrom free shipping free returns but the brand is cut from the cloth I'm 99% always a size 6 in these jeans um, and I just feel like overall they have like the softest material but really good fit I find these to be very flattering they're just like a softer wash so if you're someone that does a lot of sitting at work or whatever it is maybe family life or just lifestyle wise you are sitting a lot or you know just want jeans that you can kind of be out about all day very comfortable i definitely recommend checking out this brand they have a ton of color jeans right now too which i shared a couple of my last previous hauls a cream and as well as like a magenta pink one but i really really love how soft this is but soft but very flattering i feel like it's flattering on the butt flattering on the legs um i just feel like overall the quality is really really nice Typically in the price range for these, they're right around $100, 100, 
probably 100 to 120, maybe 140. So very similar to Abercrombie. I love the wide leg to this. Again, I feel like lots of different shoe options can go with this and I feel really good in these. Love the color, love the fabric. Okay, now this is the other Spanx pair that I had previously mentioned. I'm wearing a size medium in these. These are the front seam pleated jean. They are a little bit more of a wider leg bottom as well. And again, I'm wearing a size medium in this. I absolutely had to work to get into them. They are just not going to be a pair. They're not a style that you're going to just throw on and like quickly leave. Like I feel like you have to know I want to wear these. And once they're on, they feel amazing, like very comfortable. They're not too tight. They're not uncomfortable to sit down or anything like that. They're just kind of, I like, they're kind of like the faux leather leggings from Spanx. Like, I don't put them on and try them on with an outfit. I go into it like I'm wearing these and then build the outfit around that. So I feel like that would be the similar vibe with these as well. Now you can see here there's no button, there's no zipper or pockets. So that's all faux, which is really nice. It has like a very nice flat lay to the body, of course, then. You don't have to adjust anything. Um, and I feel like these are a really nice pair. Again, if you're somebody that can wear these into the office or you're just someone that likes a more tailored jean, I feel like these definitely have like a little bit of an elegance to them um, versus maybe some of the Abercrombie ones with holes that I have or distressing, something like that. So definitely a refined tailored jean for sure. I'm pretty sure this pleated front also comes in cream. I'll leave them, of course, linked down below. Again, wearing a size medium, just a really nice fit. Very flattering through the stomach area, the butt. I feel like the butt looks really good in these jeans, too. The waistband's really nice, has stretch to it, but lays really flat. Um, so, yeah, definitely a really great jean option. Okay, now this next pair is from Abercrombie. This is a Curve Love collection, the 90 straight ultra high rise. I'm in a size 28.6 regular. Again, I'm 5'5". There has not been a single other pair of cream color jeans that have come into my life that I've loved more than these. These are my absolute favorite. When I'm looking for white jeans or cream jeans, I definitely look for a cream color versus like a stark white. I think the cream always looks a little more expensive. I always feel like it's a little more flattering on like my skin tone and I just feel like with any of the outfits that any of the tops that I want to wear with this I feel like the cream just looks really beautiful with it especially with me wearing a ton of neutral on neutral outfits I feel like cream is a little more flattering with other tones of tops like whether it's nudes or browns I just feel like cream is the way to go for sure again this is the 90 straight ultra high rise I have this exact style the 90 straight ultra high rise and a lot of different washes it is one of my favorite style from Abercrombie. I just think it's very, very flattering, very comfortable. Since this is a high rise, the button is sitting above the belly button where I feel like a mid rise is kind of right on the belly button and then low of course would be beneath that. But I don't find these to be too high. And again, I just feel like they're kind of the style that I just, if I want to wear jeans and I want to be comfy and feel good, this is the style that I typically grab. I'm just always very comfortable in them. So lots of different washes available, of course. And again, I'm in my true size with the Curve Love Abercrombie jeans, a 28.6. Now, before we continue on with just a few more pairs, I want to quickly mention that um, in the style clips, I will include outfit details, top shoes, all that down below in the description box as well. The jean will be listed and then the outfit in case you have interest in any of those other items. And I also wanna make sure to, point, to call out, if you are liking this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I just recently hit 10,000 subscribers. Super excited about that. Would love for you guys to join in here. I post about two videos every single week. Now this next style of jeans, this is from Abercrombie. They are the baggy low rise fit. I wanna call out low rise is just sitting right below the belly button, kind of on the belly button for me. So it's not like your hips are gonna be out. I know a lot of people think like low rise, like you can't wear it because of the hips and stuff like that as we've gotten older. But I just wanna call out that I feel like this is a very flattering low rise style if you are interested. I like the cup detailing here down at the bottom, but it is permanent like that. So I haven't, I didn't roll it up, it's stitched like that. And I am in a size 28.6 regular, again, I'm 5'5". So my typical size at Abercrombie in the Curb Love collection, the 28.6 regular. And I think they're just really cute. I love the denim color to this. It kind of reminds me of the A. Goldie jeans that I'll share here in a second. But overall, a really good fit. Definitely something different to kind of have in my wardrobe with the cup detailing. And again, um, just a different style to try out. Up next, this jean, this is from Abercrombie, Curb Love, and it is the 90s Relax jean high rise fit um and this is a jean that i feel like a ton of people are loving at the moment on social media as well everyone does seem to be sizing up i found that true to be i found that to be true for myself as well i'm in a 29 8 
long length. And again, I'm 5'5 five five for reference. I feel like this jean's really nice to be able to cuff as well, just for some of those shoe choices that you want to be able to wear sandals or maybe a lower heel. You can definitely cuff the jean, and I think that looks cute. Um, but also just not cuffing it. A lot of, lot of versatility in terms of what shoes to wear, little boots, sneakers, heels, and any of the above that I just mentioned. I really like this medium wash. Again, comes in lots of different colors and washes, and I just feel like it's a really nice fit. So obviously, you can. a lot of Abercrombie jeans are kind of like a 90s style, whether it's the loose or relaxed, both of which I've had to size up in. Um, but I just feel like very flattering, kind of fitted more through the lower stomach, hip area, and then kind of fans out just ever so slightly. Um, I really, really like this style of jean. I have it in the black version as well. Um, so anyways, definitely one of my favorites to try out from Abercrombie for sure. Now this next style, this is from the brand A Goldie, which is definitely a more designer denim brand. I think pricing wise, you're looking usually around, I think like 180 to 200 something. This is their crisscross upsize jean. I did have to size up in these. I think I'm in a 30. So you know, typically I'm a six or an eight, so I'm in a 10 in these. And then I had to get the waist taken in for sure at the seamstress, but you can't even tell. Nobody would ever be able to tell when you're just like walking around. Sometimes they have to take the label and the size, so that's why I don't know the size for sure, but sometimes they have to take that out on the inside when they're pulling it in tight and stitching it. I really like these jeans. Um, I love the quality of them. They feel really good on, very comfortable. They wash and wear very well. I don't wear them as much as I wish I did just because of the price point, but I've had these for years and because of the crisscross, I do really like this jean paired back with more of like a crop top or definitely a fitted top. I feel like if something's like busy, like whether that's a print or just more fabric, it just doesn't do anything for me. I feel like it just lays, it's just too much. Um, so for my shape, I definitely like something more fitted or crop to pair back with this. Now they have a ton of amazing like ripped jeans and just overall I love a Goldie brand for like their style jeans. I think a lot of Abercrombie ones kind of give you like a similar vibe to theirs as well. Um, and I know Abercrombie has a crisscross one exactly like this too. I'll leave it linked down below. But I definitely really love this denim brand. I just feel like sizing wise I typically when I order I always have to size up one or two sizes and then get the waist taken in so on top of the the more expensive price sometimes I kind of feel like I find similar jeans that I really love just as much from like Abercrombie but really great brand super on trend um just a, just a really good denim brand that I feel like you buy something and you'll wear those jeans for years to come wanted to include my jean overalls that I absolutely love these ones are from Levi's I wear size medium in them I feel like if you're in between sizes it wouldn't hurt to size up I definitely had ordered the large to kind of decide as well and I feel like the large would have been fine as well but I always love wearing these from time to time I just think they're really cute whether you're styling it back with sneakers or lug sole boots or even like Birkenstocks, sandals. I feel like they're just cute. I love having overalls in my collection because I do wear them from time to time. Not all the time, but I do think they're really cute. Free People makes a really great um, overall as well. They're called the Ziggy. I have the short alls from Free People, the Ziggy short alls, and I love them as well. So I'll leave those linked down below, but I feel like, you know, Levi's, very classic, very vintage style, and I feel like I'll have these for years to come. I wanted to mention that I have shared Madewell's curvy 90 straight jean before and I believe over on TikTok, but in those I was pleasantly surprised that I'm always a 28.6. I think I tried three or four different styles for them in their curvy line and I found that the sizing was great, um, very consistent. So I was a 28.6 regular in those. I like the 90 straight and I've also tried the super wide leg if you're kind of wanting a more baggier jean fit it through your hip, lower stomach area, your butt, and then kind of flares out, then I definitely recommend the super wide leg jean. And then in the past, I've shared a couple of jeans from Wrangler and Lee. They're just like not my favorite. I feel like nothing beats kind of like Levi, Abercrombie's, um, a couple of the other ones that I've mentioned here, Free People, Cut From The Cloth. But I will say from what I had learned when I tried these in the past, I definitely like I definitely need a size up to a 29 in their jeans and I like when it has more cotton than not so maybe like the 90% range of cotton I feel like I've tried some of their other ones and just didn't really love the fit or the fit wasn't consistent so I wanted to quickly mention those here as well okay girls that is it the best of jeans for spring 2024 curvy jean haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already I would love to hear what your favorite style was if there's a pair of jeans that I need to try I'd love to know from you girls if you are wanting me to do a jean short haul as well I think that's something I had thought of last year but I just didn't get to and I know 
Um, sometimes if you're curvy, if you're curvier, jean, jean shorts can be really a challenge to find too. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in or not by leaving a comment down below. Again, everything is linked down below in the comment section as well as in the description box. Let me know if you need anything else at all. And want to quickly mention my next video or upcoming video in the next two videos will be what to wear to a spring wedding. And that was a big video that I had last year. And so of course I will be back with a ton of options if you have any special occasion, baby shower or wedding, guest wedding dress event that you need something for. I will be back with another video for that really soon. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to see you really soon in my next one. Bye.